Yo, what up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video, man. Uh, and Killmonger running some errands for Cheapo Kitty. Crazy, right? Driving one Hellcat to go fix another. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Let's go. Another one, another one, and this one you guys been waiting for. You keep asking me and asking me what's going on with Cheapo Kid. And it's actually finally, finally, finally coming to a close, man. Guys, the motor is now in. It's in Cheapo Kitty, and we have some last minute things to do. We gotta button up a few things. Uh, one being we are on our way right now to the Dodge dealer to go pick up some fluids. Um, we broke a, 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 con, a fuel connecting, like a quick release on the fuel connect, so I had to buy a whole new fuel line, which sucked. Um, I'm going to pick up enough to do two oil changes. The reason why is because we're gonna start the car up on one set of oil, um, let it run for a little bit, then drop that oil and put in a fresh set that we're gonna drive on. Then after that, I'm gonna drive about 500 miles and then we're gonna drop that oil and then put in that third set of oil. So a lot of oil, we're gonna buy about two gallons worth of uh, coolant. The system is gonna have air pockets, so we're gonna have to flush it out completely. And what we wanna do is, man, have everything run absolutely perfectly. So unfortunately in this video, I don't think we're gonna have a startup just yet, but at least we'll be going ahead and, and adding all the things that we gotta add to finish up the car. So, next stop, Dodge Dealer. Let's get ready to spinny, spin, spin, cause that's all it's gonna be is a spin fest, but it'll sound amazing, ready? <laughs> oh man, oh, this red eye is so much fun. Hey, so uh, turns out the dealer is a little camera shy, so I didn't get to film inside, but I picked up all the parts, got everything, and now headed over to N-Track to go drop it off. And uh, let me show you a little bit more of the Hellcat and what's going on, man. <laughs> Yo, if y'all can't tell, I'm so excited. Now, a lot of you will be like, but Steph, you good. You got a red eye, like you gotta, but it's different, man. It's very different driving that six speed big horsepower car that i lie to y'all not <laughs> that car is going to put bus lengths on a red eye from a roll it is going to put bus lengths on a red eye from a roll that's how fast that car i mean even was and is going to be going forward so i'm just i'm so excited I'm so excited. I, I just can't, you know, contain myself. But anyway, uh, let me get over here and drop off this stuff and I'll show you guys more of the car. Come on. And here we are, boys. Back at your favorite spot, in track tire. Just hopping out of Killmonger. For those of you that don't know, this is Killmonger, the Hellcat Red Eye in Indigo Blue. It's my, I'm really, I've really fell in love with this color, man. After cleaning it, hanging out with it, looking at it, and spending some time with it. I'm really feeling it. So uh, let's start to take this stuff inside right now. All this good stuff. We got coolants, oils, filters. And uh, before I was running 265 pulley, um, because of the blower now being ported, I'm gonna go up to a 280 pulley. And y'all see what it say on it. It say Mind of Fame, baby. Courtesy of your boys at Grip Tech. Really good pulleys. You don't get the belt slip when you use Grip Tech. Cool stuff, man, cool stuff, but let me get this stuff inside. Ah, uh, yeah, so, like I said, rolling up to check on the machine. Ready, Freddy? What up? Oh, we got my boy Supra here. My boy Supra is really, really nice, really clean car. 
Um, I think y'all seen it in a previous video, but uh, we sorting out some stuff with it. And as soon as it's fully ready, ready, I'm going to shoot a full review on this MK4 Supra making some serious power. But I don't want to spoil it, so I'll tell you later. Yo, hey, what up, what up? What's good? I watch your YouTube channel. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Stuff, it helps you the, uh, the health yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. Okay. Gotta love the Ringos, man. The sound of those trucks. The sound of those trucks are nice, nice. What up, boy? I, I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. Nah, you good. You good. She's amazing. I'm glad Thank you, man. Yes, sir. It looked different in person, right? I knew what she sound like, but I'm gonna just keep pushing. I got you next time, next time for sure. Yo, easy boy. So the good thing about the channel, man, is it's increasing in size. So I get to meet so many cool people, man, from all different types of cars. From y'all just saw that. One was the Durango and the other one was a BMW. You gotta love that, man. Like just the car community coming together. I talk a lot of shit, but honestly, I love all cars. Like, for an example, this beautiful. CTS-V, amazing. Like I said, I appreciate and I love all cars. Even if I talk it's just me having fun. Ignore it. <laughs> so a lot of you may say like, do you need to run Mopar specific? The answer is no, you don't need to, but I do. I just, it's just something that I, it's something that I do. I run Mopar brand specific. They, they know they made it and it runs perfectly. So I kind of just stick to that. So, like I said, we just took off the 265 pulley and we're going with a 280. So, ideally, I'm probably going to end up with a 275 pulley, but I'm going to see what it makes first with the 280. If it makes my horsepower goal with the 280 and a 10% lower, I'm going to leave it as is. Because sometimes you run out of the max range of efficiency, and with the 280, it's going to be very efficient because the blower is not spinning as fast to make the same horsepower that it was making with a 26 probably more than what it was making when it was 265 and 10% lower but the car is fully back together man it's fully back together and i am super excited i cannot wait and i can't wait for the next video where we actually start it up for you guys and you guys get to hear this car purr once again um i've made a commitment to you i've made a commitment to myself that this Hellcat right here is going to be the fastest six-speed Hellcat on YouTube, period. It's going to be the fastest six-speed Hellcat on YouTube, no ifs, ands, or buts, and I welcome any and all challengers, no pun intended, that uh, wanna test that theory when this car is up and running and done. So I can't wait to get to that, but I need to talk to y'all about something pretty important as it relates to recent coronavirus and all this kind of stuff. I need to talk to y'all about some of that. So I'm gonna hop back in the car, give me a second. Just need to say goodbye to everybody. So yeah, guys, back in the red eye, but I wanted to chop it up with y'all a little bit about this whole corona thing. The thing that I wanna talk about the most is just how serious this is. Whether you believe that if this is something that is <clears throat> a hoax or whatever the case may be, here's what is real. The panic in people. And with that panic in people comes a lot of ramifications that affects everyone. So for an example, you know, there are a lot of viewers that I know that watch this video that you may be an hourly employee. And if you're an hourly employee, that means that if a store closes, if you cannot come to work, if your restaurant closes where you work or any place like that, you are now out of money you are out of an income and right wrong or indifferent the majority of us live from paycheck to paycheck so that is scary af so what i want to do is on my instagram in my stories uh so instagram at my to fame i have some friends that own companies and stuff like that that are going to be doing things to help out people that are in those type of situations. They're also gonna help out small business owners. So I am going to be reposting, posting, websites, information, anything that I can give that would help someone in need because the last thing I wanna see is for people not to have. Um, I am fortunate enough, thank God, 
that I am fortunate enough that um, the company that I work for, my day job, I'm a salaried employee, right? So, um, and also my company, fortunately, because I work out of the office anyway, I don't go to an office every day. I work a territory. And for that reason, I'm still going to get my full pay, my full, like nothing changes for me. And that is a complete and utter blessing. And I thank God for that. In addition to that, the YouTube channel also generates income from you guys watching the videos, from you guys supporting. So that's why I wanna give back to you guys as well because you guys give so much to me with your support, with your views, with your comments, the, the good comments, the trolls, the likes, the, the, all of it, all of it is helpful to me. The fact that I'm still picking up parts and dropping them off to finish a build while being inside of a new Hellcat Red Eye to fix the old Hellcat, like, bro, like, I just, I do not look past this. I don't, I'm not the type of person that talks or brags or anything like that. That's just not my speed. I do this stuff because I love it. I don't do this stuff to show off. I don't do this stuff so that, you know, I could feel better about, you know, what I got and what you don't got. None of that stuff matters to me. I love cars. It's my sickness. It's what I'm into. And, you know, it's where I spend my money. <laughs> So um, I want to be a resource to you guys. So again, follow me on Instagram, follow my stories. You will have some entertainment, but you will also get information. As I get information, I will be disseminating it onto my stories on Instagram. So follow that. If you see something, you have questions about it, feel free to DM me. I get a lot of DMs. So if I don't see yours, don't feel bad. I usually see them within a couple days. So I'm going to do my best, guys, to do what I can to help you all out should you be in some sort of a situation where you have now found yourself out of work and you have no way of providing for yourself or your family. Unacceptable. We cannot do that. I cannot call y'all my M2 efforts and not see what I could do to help. Super, super important. The things that I expect for you guys to do is to take this seriously, though. Um, if your town has a curfew, your city, whatever has a curfew, abide by it. You know what I'm saying? Just just chill in the crib, watch YouTube videos, kick it. Uh, I'm going to see if some of the other YouTubers want to go live with me. Um, you know, we'll do what we can to support and keep you guys entertained or whatever the case may be. Stay in the house, man. Stay in the house. Um, while this thing gets under control, while we get a handle on it. This is not the news. This is the Mod to Fame channel. So I'm giving it to you from a personal perspective um, and how I view it. But, you know, it's a simple, it's a simple ask. For two weeks, just stay ass home. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's, that's all we gotta do. Guys, I'm super excited about the return of Cheapo Kitty, which we will be calling it Cheapo Kitty, but that's what you guys know it as. But I'm super excited for the return of that car. I'm expecting the next video to be the startup and you know then driving the car for a couple weeks i gotta put about 500 miles on the car so i might take a trip and i'll take you guys with me if if i do decide to do that but good times are ahead man this year is going to be absolutely awesome we now have an official drag car in the red eye and we now have an official roll race car in the hellcat so we got it covered from all spectrums baby and that's it man that's what it is but guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And here in this Dodge Challenger, Hellcat, Red Eye, Wide Body, too many damn names, Dodge. We out. We out.